Hey everybody, here's a quick look at the Lumia 635. Uh, this is for the AT&T version. <clears throat> this is the contract free. This is the one that's selling for $99. As you know, I, I got my other review on the T-Mobile version. The only difference between these two is basically the covers that come with. Uh, other than that, it's basically the same hardware. Very nice that it does come with the 4G LTE, which makes it nice. And this is a pretty nice go-to phones. As you can see here, they do uh, have, if you want to have like uh, test the waters for using um, a Windows phone, this is a good device to do. Also, these also would work fairly good for um, like a mobile, like a music player or video player as well. This kind of actually would give a competition to the iPod, except you have much more features here than an iPod, much less price. Uh, it does have SD micro SD card slot, so let's take a quick look. I'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, I'll give this a quick pause, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, as uh, like I was mentioning, these make a great um, phone devices for kids or anybody that wants to get into the Windows Mobile uh, platform. This again, this comes with the micro SD card. It's got an eight gigabyte internal. Uh, memory gigabytes RAM. Uh, these are actually support cards up to 128 gigabytes, which is nice. Again, if you picked up one of these for $99 and you picked up a 128 gigabyte card, micro SD card, you're probably looking at spending $220. That's much less than you would spend for a iPod Touch. And not only would you get uh, phone features out of this, uh, you get this is, works makes a great uh, GPS device as well because with the Nokia here maps you can download all the maps here so you don't have to have an internet connection and you can navigate anywhere you like uh, it does come with a 5 megapixel camera uh, four and a half inch uh, super LCD touchscreen and again and also this also comes this is one of the first mobile devices that actually comes with Windows Phone 8.1 which is nice uh, it does capture at 720p uh, display here so you get a sim card there which is a micro sim card so let's pull this out and again you probably don't get much it's probably the same adapter you get you, they've put on the other ones as well as you can see the typical charger it feels pretty cheap yeah, if you can use any kind of USB charger to charge this up uh, again you get some paperwork uh, in here start a quick guide and they actually do include also a, uh, looks like uh, kind of features and guide here which is pretty nice it gives you somebody that's new to Windows Mobile uh, gives them an idea how to control and swipe and things like this. It shows you swipe up and things like that. So I'll put that in there. Let me go ahead and hopefully this has enough charge. If not, I'll pause it and qu quickly give it a quick charge just so we can. Um, pretty much it's all the same, but just so you can take a look at some of the features on here. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. Uh, but before I do that, let's just quick, uh, do a quick rundown on this. Uh, as you can see, it, it, it does have um, your headset up in the top here, three, three and a half inch. As you work your way in the top, there's nothing here. On the right hand side, you have your rocker volume switch, power up, power down, uh, power button right here. Uh, they have removed uh, the camera button here, so you don't no longer have the camera button uh, built in as in you did with the five, uh, 521 or the 520 version they did have a camera button here which was pretty pretty nice because you can just quickly access it so they've gone away with that so you can see this is a quick comparison of the 521 520 pretty much as 521 as well with the 635 so it's a little bit taller you get a bigger screen as well so you do get more features with this one. Let's pop the back open. As you can see, you just pretty much just pop it this way. And here you have all the internals. Here's the slot for the uh, SIM card as well in there. And here's the micro SD slot, so you can put it in there. The back here's the camera, the 5 megapixel camera. And here's your batteries. Where you go, and you put it in here. I'll hold off, and I gotta put the um, 
SIM, not the SIM card, but the micro SD card as well. And here, as you can see, it does have a flexible backing, which is pretty nice. It doesn't feel too cheap, but you know, it's flexible enough. Works great. Uh, let's take these off here, and we'll set these over here. I'll go ahead and pull this off. So, kind of give you an idea. Uh, in the back it does have the Nokia branding and it looks like uh, at and has gone ahead and put their branding as well in it. The T-Mobile version didn't have nothing but the Nokia sign icon there. So they've at and put theirs on there. Let me snap this back in here just to keep a uh, walkthrough around it. On the bottom you see the micro SD card or micro SD uh, port so you can charge it here and also transfer data back and forth and on the left hand side there's it's all smooth as you can see it's got the nice uh, matte finish so it actually gives you kind of a grip because of the matte on there the matte finish on it and as you can see here's the camera in the back there is no flash as you can see so you're not going to be able to get some night shot pictures out of this as there is no flash so I'll be testing out this it does have the Nokia camera software that you can buy, you know, download. And you know, this got also the Nokia Creative Studio, so you can kind of edit your pictures. I don't know how well it will do, but for $99, you probably can't expect uh, 13 megapixel uh, quality, but at least it probably be good quality. Uh, here's the opening for the speaker here in the bottom. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and um. Actually, what I'll do is just to test it out. I know these are um, contract free phones. I do have a SIM card because I've noticed that sometimes uh, it does require for you to have just that SIM card from you know the GoPay, as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put my regular SIM card from 18 Teen here, see if that works. Let me pop this open here and we'll go ahead. Let me take out the SIM card. And we'll test it out, see if uh, it works. And also what I'll do is um, maybe I'll give it a quick pause just so while well, it loads up everything on there and then um, we'll come back to it. Uh, let me quickly pause this. I'm going to get the also micro SD card. I'm going to just stick it at the same time. Okay, let's see, I'm back, go ahead, and as you can see, oops, I'll go ahead and, um, the SIM card, or the micro SD card, it shows you kind of which way it goes, it only goes one way, it's got the little design there, so you can just slide this in here, what's in there, um, it kind of just pushes in, there's no, uh, push in or out, so you kind of have to, when you want to stick it out, kind of have to grab the end of the micro SD card there, and then pull it out, and then that uh, pushes back in so let's go ahead I'll see hopefully this has got enough uh, battery in here let's power this up what I'll do is I'm gonna double check make sure that's my correct SIM card another thing is as you can see the button the buttons are built into the case as you can see here so there's no actually physical buttons on the device here except this got the push buttons in there which um, the buttons on the case push on it so I guess if this was to break since these are pretty cheap you can probably buy another case for it so it looks like it's gonna power up let me go ahead and take this off as you can see there we'll set that here so as it's loading up uh, again this is a great uh, device phone here you can use it as an mp3 player video player navigation and you can use it as a phone as well and if you were able to unlock this you can probably use this uh, if you're traveling and don't you want, and don't want to take your expensive phone this is a nice uh, phone to carry around again it, it's got the latest software so it does um, does a lot of things that you would probably need especially if um, you're just traveling ab abroad and you wanted the maps, the here, the Nokia here maps are perfect for that. So let's go ahead and I'll do next. Accept. I'll go ahead and pause it so I won't keep you guys from, you know, this whole step. And then uh, we'll come back and just quickly just 
brief through it. All right, I basically I'm almost done. I'm just go ahead and pick it. It's giving me the option to pick up the other Nokia that I was testing out from uh, T-Mobile. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click that next. And what it does, this is the nice thing about uh, Windows phones. Uh, it, you're able to restore a lot of your settings, same, similar like Android and iOS iPhones and things like that. That's become kind of popular. Uh, it's kind of become a norm and kind of just standard, really. Uh, while that's loading up, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the build quality of this. Again, it's a very um, build quality here. Uh, let me go ahead and send this real quick. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as you know, I went ahead and set it up. It's still downloading a lot, a lot of my applications, as you can see. When it's downloading, they're kind of grayed out, as you, you can see, kind of there. Again, I like because everything's coming back from my other previous uh, testing model I was using from T-Mobile. This is, again, the AT&T one. Uh, as also, I want to show you guys, here is kind of, hopefully it catches the build quality for $99. Uh, you cannot beat that. Again, I don't want to... Uh, can't stress that because you get very good for the $99 you see all the edges and everything everything lines up very nicely it does have the Gorilla Glass here I believe this is Gorilla Glass 2 uh, which is pretty nice uh, you can see it does capture fingerprints so it probably doesn't have that coating on the glass that helps prevent from getting fingerprints that easy uh, you can see those hopefully on the video so you won't have that you know luxury of you know at least not getting too many fingerprints but again the price like you can't beat it so um, let me see uh, I got some music on there I think it was last time it was re reloading again don't forget to update your Xbox music because now with the updated one it does kind of load up faster so let me see I think this actually no this is not the card that I actually had all my soundtracks but these are actually from all music which I gotta sync it up to the Xbox as you can see it's got all the music but this is all from the cloud and unless you have a subscription you, you won't be able to play them here which is kinda like a bummer uh, that would have been nice if you can access this music because I can just upload it to the cloud which I have on my tablet so I can access these on my Surface uh, RT and the Surface Pro 3 but on the phone you cannot which is kinda a really bummer like I said because it's similar like you would with uh, Google Music you can upload and be able to do unless you have a Xbox account you can't so you would have to put your music on the SD card so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put that music on there so you guys can take a look on there but other than that very nice display uh, for what you get we'll just open up a web page here I'll just put recommend it um, it's going to Yahoo here as you can see very nice the fonts, you can see that it's not the best, but again, it doesn't have the best uh, quality uh, display again. But it does do this. It does it does the job very well, which is nice. We'll click on this right here, just so you can read. See, even though it's got low resolution, all the fonts is nice and clear, which makes it very amazing for that price again. And here's a you can put it in reader mode which is again uh, text looks very clearly you can legibly read everything that you have there it's very responsive as you can see very quickly which is very nice and then you can go ahead and highlight copy as you can see I just copied I can just go ahead and do that again it highlights very easy and very quickly copy there uh, slide down and you have your quick shortcuts for notifications which is part of the new Windows 8.1 for uh, for the phone version your Bluetooth if you want any more settings you can slide it so you would have to hit all settings it takes you quickly to the settings here which is very nice uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check later for updating to update one I believe that's out already so again you can go back uh, back out here is the here maps which is very nice let's do the Cortana let me go ahead and have it 
detector. Sounds good. I'll tell it. Locate target stores in San Diego. Here are six locations for target stores in San Diego. As you can see, we picked up some target stores. So I'll just go ahead and click on this for more information. Gives me the address. So if I wanted to use the maps, you just basically click on um, the address and it'll give you. I'll, I won't load that up right now. Um, locate target stores in San Diego. Here are six locations for target. So you're gonna you have all the furniture. You can call from within here. You can do your social tweeter open. It gives you the hours really quickly there, as you can see. Very nice. It's kind of similar to Google now. That gives you that. So if I was to hit that, it shows targets dialing. I'll put in speaker. Thank you for calling the Sports Arena Target Store. Our normal store business hours are Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. The speaker is very loud. And Monday, that's only at volume 10. And it's, it's that's a full. Off of Interstate 8 West. Take the other thing, I don't know if, if you guys can right. catch that, it's got the Skype now built in for here, which is very nice because you can Skype right lab. directly. The, the downside about if you get the 635 is it doesn't have no front facing cameras so there's no ability to do skyping on it uh you have to use any of the other phones that does have for front facing camera for that purpose so hopefully this video helps if you guys were thinking about picking up that nokia lumia 635 for the at&t it basically like you see i've added I, I put my regular sim card here from my regular phone and it works perfectly fine so you don't really have to get a, a go phone uh, uh, settings or anything uh, you don't have to do anything like that so you can put that in there uh, go ahead I'll go ahead and I'll, let me see I quickly I'll pause it and I'll put that other uh, micro SD card with the music just so I can kind of show you guys so you guys can hear the music how loud it is it's pretty loud so let me quickly pause that real quick Okay, I went ahead and put the, my card that had all the music in there. Uh, as you can see, it's still trying to load the music. So it's t it depends on the size of the card. This is a 32 gigabyte card I put in here. With, it has some music and there's only like 10 gigs of music. But it seems that it's taking a little bit of time to load it. But just kind of give you an idea how loud this, uh, let me bring this. You can see how loud this is on 30. So the speaker is pretty loud. This is much louder than you would than you would have an, an iPod. iPod does not sound that loud. The other thing is, I mean, it is not the highest quality, but for being a single speaker, it sounds good. Um, here you might not be able to tell. And of course you have your headset there so you can put your favorite headset or uh, connect it to via Bluetooth and then you can have a Bluetooth headset. So that's a quick look at a, the new uh, Nokia Lumia 635 for AT&T. Quick round one more time so you guys can see uh, build quality is great. As you can see this fingerprint magnet uh, does collect a lot of fingerprints so very easily but overall very nice you can see it's solid for the for the price $99 so hope this helps for those that were interested and in, can get a hold of one of these in your hand and hopefully this uh, shows you what you can expect if you want to order one of these and don't have one in a nearby store and need to look at it thanks for watching